Hey, it's Mr. Falstrom, and I thought I would make a video where uh, we do some practice with composite figures and volume. So um, I printed out a worksheet, and if you ever wanted to go to this website, this is where I got it from, worksheetworks.com. And if you ever wanted to just do extra practice, you can go there and make your own worksheets. Um, and so I printed this out and I thought that we would do a couple of these together just to get some extra practice with finding the volume of composite figures. So um, the vi ones I want to do is I want to do, we're going to do problem eight and problem nine. And then after we go through those together, um, you are going to try problem number four at the end. So let's get started. Um, one tool that might be useful um, if you have a printed worksheet is a ruler. So I'm going to use that. So um, first step to finding a composite figure is what? It is we have to split the composite figure into prisms. So I'm going to use this ruler to help me make this look a little nicer. So we're going to split this one like this. So now I've split it into two rectangular prisms. And then what I like to do is I'm going to label them. I'm going to call this one, uh, this will be prism A, and we're going to call this one prism B. And we're going to find the volume of prism A and the volume of prism B and add them together, and that will give us the total volume. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write A down here, and then I'm going to write B right below. and Let's start with A. So to get the volume of A, we need to multiply the length, width, and height. So right here, um, here's our height. So three. Here is a length of A. It is seven. So what we need is how long this part is, right? Or we need how long that side is. So to figure that out, um, what we can see is we can see the this measurement of A plus B together, the whole thing is six yards. And we can see that B is three yards. So in other words, if we take this six and subtract the three, that's what will be left. And six minus three is Three. That means this measurement is three yards, right? Three yards plus three yards gives us a whole total length of that side of six yards. So there is our expression to find the volume for A, and then let's go ahead and get the one for B. So we know that the longest side of B is 10. So that's one of them. We know that the width is three and then both prisms have the same height and there's our height measurement right over here that's our height so that is also three now that we've done that we just have to do some multiplying and I'm gonna switch the order around on this one because if I if I do it in order right now three times seven is twenty one 21 times 3. I mean, I could do that in my head, but what I'm what I'd rather do is I'm going to do 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 7 is 63. So 63 cubic yards. And then um, I'm just going to go in this order here. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 10 is 90. So the volume of prism B is 90 cubic yards and then to get the total volume I'm going to add these together and you could do this mentally but I'll just go ahead and write it you know with uh, the addition algorithm so 90 plus 63 will add up the ones 3 plus 0 is 3 9 plus 6 is 15 that's our final answer uh, so it's gonna be 153 cubic yards Let's do number nine. So um, same thing, the way I'm going to split 
This one is I think I'll split it like this. You have you have a you can either go horizontally or vertically. I'm gonna go horizontally here. We'll split it like that. And we'll we'll call the big one on the bottom A, and I'll just call this little guy on top B. So I've split it. And I'll do the same thing. Here's A, here's B. Okay, let's find the length, width, and height for A. So uh, length, 10. The width, 6. And the height, 3. That was actually pretty easy. Um, B is probably not going to be as easy, unfortunately. Um, it does have the same width right so the width of six down here that is the exact same width that is up here for these lines these are all identical so we know one of them is six the height we're gonna have to subtract so the total height is five so if we add the height of a and the height of b we get five yards the height of a is three yards so if we subtract that right three take a five take away the three that gives us a height of two right so two plus three is five so the height is two and then all we need is the width and we're gonna have to subtract again for the width we know that um actually no it gives us the width does it not it does it's two So we've got a width of two, a, a, that side is six, this side's two, and the height is two, okay. So um, I guess I'll just go in order. 10 times six is 60, 60 times three would be 180 cubic yards. And then um, six times two is 12, 12 times two is 24 cubic yards and we'll just add these and I can do this one in my head um, I, if I take the if I take a 20 if I take 20 away from the 24 and add it 20 plus 180 gives me 200 and then I just add the other four so it's 204 cubic yards and that's an ugly four let's make it a little more like a four okay so we did eight and nine. Now I want you to tr I want you to try number four, and we will split it. I will split it this way for you. So we'll just call the one on the left prism A, and we'll call the one on the right prism B. So what is the expression to find the volume for prism A? And it is, it has a width of two, it has a height of four, and the longest side is going to be six because the total length of both of them is 10. If this one is four, four plus six would be 10. And what is the expression for prism B? The expression for prism B, we would have, we have um, the height is the same. They're both, so they both have a height of four. This one has a width of five, and then it has this other side of four. So those are our two expressions. And what is the final answer. After you get the volumes for both of them, add them up, what do you get? So the volume for A would be 48 centimeters cubed, and the volume for B would be 80 centimeters cubed, and the total volume would be 128 centimeters cubed. So now that you've watched this video, I hope you feel a little bit more comfortable with the volume of composite figures.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on another video.